Welcome to the webinar. You have entered as an attendee in listen-only mode. A feeling of choking, suffocation. So we see one of the important remedies here is cocos cacti. So we read from Materia Medica in Kent it is given that it is a spasmodic cough forcing the patient into most violent efforts. The face becomes pur purple and finally he retches and vomits the long strings of tough ropey mucus because of which he feels a lot of choking. Then we have this barking kind of cough we call Kutta Khasi in India. There is a lot of cough like a dog is barking and one of the important remedy for that kind of cough is Drosera. You see a persistent periodical fits of rapid deep barking choking incessant cough. The cough doesn't stop. That is the kind of cough of Drosera. Then there is spasmodic cough. The whole body goes off into kind of convulsive state. There is a spasm because of the cough. And one of the important remedies is cuprum for that. You can see from NM Chaudhary, the symptom may be regarded as the most characteristic point of cuprum met is spasm. So in general spasm, the action on uh, this pas, uh, spasmodic effect is one of the main thing of cuprum. So even in the cough, you will see there is a lot of association with spasm. So now we saw the different few different types of cough, dry cough, loose cough, barking cough, spasmodic cough and so on. Now we can see how frequency of cough is given in repertory. For example, we have short cough, few paroxysms. It's for a short time. Then we have persistent cough. It lasts for a long time. It doesn't stop uh, soon. Then there is constant cough, coughing, coughing, coughing and coughing. So when we look at the different uh, symptoms or different chapters or different rubrics in the cough chapter, we can see how different variety of uh, coughs are given, barking, choking, croupy, deep, dry, exhaustive, grasping, hysterical, nervous, rattling and so on, paroxysmal. Then the frequency, short, sudden, how it comes, panting, suffocative. So different, different types of coughs are given in the repertory. So once you have an idea, okay, this type of coughs are there, then you can easily correlate when a patient is front of you. Now we'll see certain interesting rubrics, modalities, peculiar modalities of cough given in the repertory chapter. For example, cough which is aggravated by eating sweets. So one of the important remedies, Madorinum as well as Pongia. These are the uh, important most remedies where the cough is aggravated by eating sweets. Then there is this not nervous cough. So for example, a patient starts coughing as soon as someone enters in the room he'll start <laughs> his cough will start so that is a peculiar modality Ner so you can see uh, beautifully it is given in uh, repertory nervous cough when anyone enters the room so you'll see the remedy phosphorus in that then there is a cough where patient starts <laughs> <laughs> so the first paroxysm is very loud and the uh, the coming paroxysms are the uh, noise goes on reducing so the first one is very loud then little slow then little slow so the main remedy for that is antium crude so that is the peculiarity so then there is uninterrupted paroxysm he'll cough 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 and then so that is cuprum then beautiful it is given in repertory so there are different types of paroxysm one where there will where you will get few coughs in that paroxysm Second, where there will be long interval of coughs. And third, where you will be short, short, short coughing will be there. So each remedy has its own peculiarity while you are uh, taking that. One of the interesting remedy, carbovest, this has a very peculiar cough. There you will see whenever the patient coughs, he will cough for three times. <coughs> three paroxysms. That is the peculiarity. Then you have the remedy where there are two coughs. Whenever the patient coughs, always he'll have two coughs. <laughs> always. This type of different modalities, this type of different uh, things are given in the repertory peculiarity. So if we know that, okay, this type of peculiarities are there, then only we can easily uh, come to a remedy while uh, repertorizing or analyzing a case. Then there is a peculiar uh, symptom. Whenever the patient has a cough, he has to kneel down 
and he has to put the face in the pillow then that only makes him better so eupatorium is the remedy for this type of cough which then there are certain interesting rubrics in cough chapter that cough which is starting aggravated after dancing or some kind of exertion so we have pulsatilla then cough which is better by diarrhea so that is also interesting bufo then there is short cough minute gun like <laughs> so it's like a gun machine short so corallium rublum short hacking cough like minute short gun then cough which is caused because of lot of acidity after heartburn there is lot of cough develops so carbonium sulf is one of the important remedies in that then there is cough where there is yawning and coughing alternately once he yawns then he coughs once he yawns then he coughs so that is that goes on consecutively so we have natremur in that which repertory is being referred okay so this is basically few symptoms from kent repertory kent is a smaller repertory in com- bigger repertories may be complete you will see lot of remedies in a particular uh, rubric so we prefer smaller repertories the uh, if you take smaller repertories you will easily come to remedy otherwise if you go for a bigger repertory unless you have many many peculiarities you should not go for bigger repertories if you have some concomitant if you have some mind symptoms along with that uh, acute or cough then you should go for bigger repertory otherwise you should go for smaller repertories maybe you can if there are less number of symptoms you can even go for fatak repertory you can go for boric nair or if there is a concomitant symptom peculiar you can go for bonning hosen bbcr or better is to go for kent repertory then there is this interesting symptom paroxysmal cough which is only better when he lay he puts his hand on his stomach then that only makes him better so crocus is the remedy for that and then we have this cough which is aggravated while smoking so alium sativa is an interesting remedy for that and cough whenever he eats the food whenever he is eating the food that time he'll get cough so carboverge is a very interesting remedy for that cough of tea drinkers which is aggravated by tea i think many we should also think about taking this remedy we all are tea lovers so one of the important remedy is spongia in that okay so we saw how beautifully different types of coughs are given i'm sure many many of you must be knowing this but i think many of us are uh, having a look at this for the first time there are such beautiful beautiful symptoms are given in the repertory such beautiful peculiarities i never knew all this unless i learned it from someone my gurus my teachers or i read it from the uh, repertory then only i came to know okay such type of symptoms are also given in the repertory so this helps when you know that okay these are the different types of peculiarities given so whenever you are taking a case you will try to put a question according to that now in case taking or in organon or in homeopathy we are told that uh, you don't have to uh, put a leading question or a direct question or something like that but in acute i don't think this thing matter but in acute the idea is to understand the very peculiarity of the patient if you know something it will give you a hint to take the uh, patient a little further so i'll share some few couple of interesting cases which i learned from my teacher which i uh, saw them uh, treating so this was a very interesting case of dr sarkar where uh, the patient came with a constant coughing he was having a lot of cough 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 but the only thing he asked him like what makes him better he said that i feel i will cough 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 all day but as soon as i vomit as soon as i vomit it makes it makes me feel better my cough goes away so this is a very beautiful peculiarity the patient is giving you a modality so when we see that when we see in repertory the only remedy which is there the constant cough which is better by vomiting is miserium you will never think of miserium in cough or what we don't know so when you see such a beautiful peculiarity cough then the patient is definitely going to improve yes dr bharat has given the right dr arun miserium the other people has also given some suggestions okay persistent and continuous cough i think more or less persistent is has to do with like it stays for a long time persistent cough and constant means is constantly coughing 
I think that that should be the difference between that. Yeah, spongia has amelioration also from these things. Yeah, definitely it has both the modalities. Many of the remedies, when you see, for example, if you say uh, pulsatile is thirstless. So when you open a repertory, you should go open the repertory and you should see in thirst. In thirstless, you will see pulsatile as a four mark remedy. You open and see the thirst rubric, and you will also see pulsatile there. So many of the remedies in the repertory, they have opposite polarity. So we should know that. Okay. So this was again a case which was in our uh, college OPD. EPCAG is better by vomiting. Okay, maybe possible. But that particular patient was given mizerium, and it helped the patient immediately. The idea is not see in always you need to understand is idea is not about the remedy. Ultimately, whatever remedy the physician chooses for the patient, that will help him. Suggestions are always uh, we we are okay to give the suggestions, but definitely at the end the doctor and physician ultimate goal is for the doctor is to treat the patient. That is the. Only with whatever thing you do, whatever medicine you give, ultimately it should help the patient. I think. Okay, my friend Dr. Fess says EPCAC will have persistent nausea despite of vomiting. Okay. Okay. Some of my friends are asking solution for yesterday's case, so Dr. Alpesh will be sharing it soon. He will be joining us in some time, so he will be sharing the solution of the case. So definitely, see each one of us have their own way of solving the case. If a particular patient comes to me, I'll look at different things. If it comes to you, you will observe different things and give. At the end, it matters is on what basis the patient was improved. We choose the remedy and finally got better. It is always possible that if I select some remedy, that may not help patient. But I must have missed something in the case which I couldn't see. Uh, and there is always a possibility someone else sees that thing and it is able to help the patient. So the whole idea in homeopathy is that on the observation, you need to observe, 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 and you need to finally, with that observation, come to a particular conclusion. So this was the case which he, the patient, came in our college OPD, and he was having this constant cough for. Uh, some days so the main thing was when sir asked him like how does it start or when it is more and so on. so he said that as soon as i go to sleep at around midnight my cough starts tab tak till that time he doesn't have cough as soon as he uh, goes for sleeping his cough starts and this cough lasts until to the till the morning so this is very interesting it starts when he goes to sleep at around midnight and Unless in in the morning, uh, like when there is the time to get up at that time, the cough gets better. And whole night this guy, because of this cough, is unable to sleep. And again, the more when we asked him more about the cough, he said that cough is more when he lies on back and he feels better when he is lying on side. So many times, what happens is. During the case taking, the patient has to be equally. So that's why, as yesterday, Dr. Gorang said that we need to keep on educating our patients about the process of case taking, how we do it, what is the importance of knowing see, even minutest peculiarity, whatever details. See, unless the patient tells us the details, we cannot completely uh, rely on our observations. observations are important part of case taking but only on observations we cannot decide the rem everything uh, plays a important role in that so even the patient plays a major role so if a patient is we, if we educate them well with the art how the homeopathy case taking process take place they will be able to uh, uh, help us better with the symptoms what are the symptoms they have then you get such kind of peculiar modalities from patient it makes our life very easy so when you open repertory and you see uh, the modality when you see the symptoms so this cough aggravate which is which starts at around midnight and it is there until day break so you see the remedy naxomica so this is the peculiar symptom of the patient which is exactly matching the remedy now what do we do we got the main peculiar symptom so we can give the remedy to the patient so what we have to do is we have to look at the other symptoms also 
is the remedy because the patient has other modalities also so is the remedy covering those also so when you see in the repertory so what makes to what used to make the cough more worse so it was worse while lying on back and it was better by lying on side so when you see the exact modalities of the cough it starts at midnight it uh, it remains up to the day break it is worse while lying on back and it is better by lying on side so so beautifully the patient has given the picture 100% sure that uh, this will help the patient i think always you should be very confident you see i have been always having this idea that whenever you do a case whatever remedy you give you give it with confidence 100% that you will get better with this thing so many a times this confidence in the doctors makes the patient better our ultimate goal is to make the patient better so this confidence gives them at least 50% relief the patient gets is because of the confidence the doctor has so that plays a very important role okay so i'll share some of my uh, interesting uh, cases so if patient doesn't have irritability and other mental state of nocmica should it be prescribed definitely why not see when do we try to probe into different areas in a particular case when you don't when you are not sure of that particular suppose i would have got four five remedies in that particular analysis the set of symptoms then definitely i would have tried probing uh, sir would have tried probe probing into different areas what is his mind state or some other uh, things any concord then you get exact symptom when you should not have doubt in uh, prescribing the remedy it will definitely work yes in certain cases we do definitely when that lower level physical levels and if we feel that patient is at that level higher level definitely we should give importance more to uh, this thing yes the thermals also play important we take into consideration thermals we ask the patient thermals is generals that also play important role in cases in you need to understand we don't have to make a fixed idea nothing should be fixed if you make a fixed protocol that in every case i do need to do like this like this like this only then it's gone completely each patient is different each case is different for each case you need to even in see if suppose one symptom of each remedy is exactly, exactly matching each remedy i don't know if there are many remedies then again uh, point in if there are multiple remedies then we need some symptoms to differentiate them so, okay so there is a question if there is a single rubric so on that because of definitely you give that because in your whole literature in your entire material medica 1000 books in your repertories everywhere if you find that single symptom in only that not give that definitely it will work and many a times what happens is whenever we are using repertory or materia medica you should also give importance to who the author is you understand like if something is given by kent or bonning os and hennyman clark all these authors then you don't have to think two or three times if if the symptom is coming from them that is that is pure that is authentic so you don't have to think two or three times before uh, giving that remedy okay so i'll share some of my uh, uh, cases like how we do it so for example this was a case of one of my friend and she had developed this acute throat pain uh, there was a lot of pain and uh, she tried taking some medicine but it was not helping so pain was on left side of throat and with empty swallowing the pain used to get worse now see here mind state so when you get this was the only thing which was available at that particular moment there were there were no other modalities this were the only modalities available so what to do with that so i tried asking her is there some exciting factor what is your state of mind is there something which is affecting you so she said that i nowadays i feel lot of crying weeping i feel like weeping all the time and there is lot of restlessness now in me at this moment the idea is you got a certain totality or certain set of symptoms at physical level and this was her mental state that she was at this particular moment she was feeling a lot of like weeping 
and there was a lot of restlessness. So what we have to do is what we can do is what I did was I just this is these are the set of symptoms. I put it in repertory. I see. Okay. So there is in when you have more general symptoms, less peculiar or um, the symptoms are more at general level, you take and at that time I used to use more of this FATAG repertory. Every cases I used to love, so I used to open FATAG repertory and try solving all the cases. So I took the repertory and I put the symptoms, affection of throat, mainly on the left side and empty swallowing aggravates. Now, when you take these symptoms, you get, I think, five remedies which are covering that. Merc IR, Merc Core, Lekases, Hiparself and Restox. So, what do we do? So, generally what we do is, whenever we see repertory and materia medica, these are like two pillars of a structure. You cannot remove one. Both are equally important. So, repertory and materia medica, they both go hand in hand. So, when you see something in repertory, you have to differentiate from materia medica. So, you have to read. Now, read from materia medica, each remedy. And when you read in materia medica, so while I was reading, so I went to this remedy, Mark IR. When you see in materia medica, so left side of throat is the symptom of Mark IR. And then when you read in Patak materia medica, the symptom which you see here is disposed to cry. Now what we see here is her physical complaint, whatever she was having, and her mind ka one symptom which we got. Both these are matching with the remedy Mark IR. Now, I don't think you have to think too much or too much theory in that. I simply gave her Mark IR, I guess 200 if I'm not wrong, single dose. With a single dose, I think within a couple of hours, she was completely, her throat pain was gone. No need for any remedies on anything. So if you get such exactness or peculiarity, it will definitely give you results. Okay, so this was one of my friend when, when we were doing some course at that time uh, he was my colleague so he developed cough since three four days and he took the remedies from two three people doctors for that teachers so it was not helping him and the nature of cough was it was very difficult to remove the expectoration he felt as if the cough is there in the chest, but it is not coming out. There was a lot of irritation in throat and in that he had this nose block and with, because of which he had to breathe through mouth and he used to get a lot of perspiration with that cough. By nature, he was a very jovial, jolly kind of person and the cold drinks used to aggravate that draft of air. And he said that I have observed that whenever I talk, whenever I talk, this cough increases. And whenever I laugh, it increases more. So when the patient gives, when the patient has observed such peculiarities, then you have to give importance to that. So what you have to do is we have to simply take the symptoms into repertory, take all the modalities cough which is aggravated by laughing, talking, cold rings, draft of air, causes irritation in throat. He see cough is there but he cannot expectorate it and uh, he lot of perspiration with cough and he cannot breathe through mouth. Can you take this uh, totality? So I think this was taken from complete repertory when we had more number of symptoms so uh, we took bigger repertory. And when you repertorize, you get a set of remedies. Okay, causticum is there, calcarea is there, phosphorus is there, calicab is there. So all these remedies are there. But when you see the repertorization, so uh, causticum covers all the other symptoms. But the one of the main modalities, like cough, which was aggravated by cough, uh, laughing, that is not covered by causticum. And there are some other remedies which are not covering other symptoms. For example, Kalika, good for cough, but it is not covering uh, talking aggravates or the chin in throat or difficult expectoration and so on. So now what do we do? Like see, many a times uh, when we are thinking of a particular remedy, but there are times when one or two symptoms in the case, it doesn't cover our remedy. Then we become little 
whether this remedy will help or not that time our confidence becomes little bit like this so what we have to do is we have to try to see okay it is not here in repertory whether if it is given somewhere else why not try to find out so what we did was we put it in reference works our homeopathic google when you don't get any symptom in the repertory you put it in reference works it will show you wherever it is given in the live so when you put that you see uh, i limited it to some books or repertory so when i see here in boris repertory cough and you see cause and what is written the cause is reading laughing talking singing and the remedy given is costicum so it was this symptom was missing in the bigger repertory but it was given in borix repertory so it makes us sure that okay now this laughing is a remedy so the whole set of symptom is covered by a remedy now we don't have to think twice so i gave him costicum and i think i gave it tds and uh, i in next two days his cough was completely better and one of the important thing here i would like to tell you uh, this was taught to us by dr sarkar so how do you differentiate between costicum and phosphorus in pierre's cough there is a book pierre's cough there it is beautifully given so for example costicum when they have this rawness in cough in trachea so when there is cough so patient this in case of costicum he will use one finger he will do like this but at the same time in case of phosphorus when the patient has this he will use three fingers like this he will show when when we ask then like where is the rawness so he will do like this their area so such beautiful observations are given in the materia medica which we don't know but we have to learn don't ever knew this symptom unless i uh, dr sarkar uh, showed this us one time one day so that is a uh, see now the question men are asking he was little jovial then why not phosphorus the idea here is we are not physical nature the idea here is we was we, we, we want a remedy for his cough he has come to us maybe in his many a times we need to understand is in acute it is not necessary that the remedy has to be constitutional or something like that there is a possibility sometimes if we are giving some patient any remedy and in acute the patient comes to you when you repeat the same remedy patient will get better many a times there are chances that same remedy won't help him his acute state is all completely different you cannot help him with the same remedy then what do you do then you have to see whatever is the current totality or uh, main complaint you have to select on the basis of that i i i think i have seen one patient of dr sankaran he he had i don't remember exactly the complaint he was on the remedy ethusa he was on the remedy ethusa the patient he was doing well and i think we i had seen the follow up for at least for about 2 years of that patient he was completely doing well with whatever complaint he had come he was on ethusa but after 2 years suddenly the state the state of patient had completely changed you you can imagine the ethusa baby the ethusa patient how he is. so what kind of state is that of ethusa after 2 years his remedy was changed to tarantula he had become a lot of mischievous doing lot of funny things pinching people doing this mischief that which entire dancing and all those things the state was of that of tarantula now you can imagine how can a ethusa baby turn into tarantula because that was the state of the patient at that particular moment and if you keep on giving him ethusa when you see such kind of symptoms the mischievousness the restlessness the dancing and all those things if you still give him ethusa we are making a huge blunder so whenever patient comes to you that's what the main idea is you have to look at the current state what is the current state you have to look that and decide a remedy according to that should we see the remedy relationship of acute with chronic remedy definitely we can see that dr alpesh i have seen in many of the cases he has used the remedy relationship so he uses that definitely we have learned so okay so this okay now again very interesting case so this was a case of my building watchman 
and once i was going on bike and suddenly stop me and he told uh, doctor 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 i said what happened he said little bit hesitating that uh, hesitating i have this uh, complain of lot of cold puraiza sneezing so i said okay tell me about that so he said since uh, 15 years i am having this complain and uh, nothing is helping me every morning when i get up there is lot of sneezing cheek aati hai mujhe i continuously sneeze 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 for uh, some time so it is since 15 years he was having this problem also i asked him what else happens along with that so he said no only thing is bahut aansu aate there is lot of lacrimation with that sneezing so i told him okay so i told him that i'll give you some medicine so while i was going i could only take this much symptoms right there was no time for me to ask him okay what is your mind state what is your mood because i was not in that position at that moment i was going somewhere i was getting it so i asked him whatever was there i told him i'll give you the medicine so then later on i went and i saw in the repertory what to do so only this set of symptoms that he has this sneezing which is more in morning and there is lacrimation with that only these symptoms were available so i opened our best tool for that patak's repertory and i put the main symptoms whatever were there in the patient so remedies which are mainly known for sneezing violent sneezing continues and there is lot of lacrimation with that and which is more in morning so when you put that in the repertory the re- remedy you get is sabadila so and when you see in materia medica so there is lot of copious water in nasal discharge and lacrimation so sabadila is known for that thing so without thinking twice i gave him sabadila bd two doses and since then i think it has been almost uh, two years i think he has never since 15 years he was having that complaint he has taken all the allopathic remedies and other other thing since 15 years he was having this complaint it was not helping him and uh, since with the few doses of our remedy homeopathic remedy sabadilla it was completely gone so i think that is the new beauty of homeopathy how we can help many patients with that this was a case of uh, again uh, acute throat pain where patient took allopathic medicines first but there was no relief so the complaint was whenever he used to swallow something especially the solids there was lot of pain and because of that he was not even able to swallow it was not going inside the food but always what constantly used to do is like this you see saw the action trying to swallow always he, he used to do that thing but with this empty swallowing it used to worsen his complain the pain used to get aggravated with that so this was the uh, symptom available so again we take help of our uh, patapatri we put the main symptoms remedy which has action on throat remedy which has painful swallowing especially solids and it doesn't go down the food so when you take that you get the remedy lac can so we know that lac can has a good action on throat complaints so what we have to do is so whenever you repertory kinds of gives us a hint repertory is not the final this thing authority the final authority is the materia medica the source book repertory gives you a hint so what you have to do is you have to go to report uh, material and you have to see okay so when we see lac can when you read in allen's key note so you see there is a inclination to swallow almost making it impossible so that was the main symptom which the patient had so we gave him lac can 200 four hourly and i think in third dose the patient improved same day there is my cursor okay i can't see you i can't see you to sneezing in morning not covered by sabadilla it is one of the main symptom of sabadilla sneezing in morning no normally what we do is see depends in cases to cases the potency the repetition it depends on cases when you have to give less number of repeated like if you don't want to repeat for more time we give uh, maybe higher potency if you want to repeat it frequently for maybe One week, fifteen days. We generally tend to give. It is 
took that like in very uh, cases difficult cases or certain cases we have to repeat frequently in certain fever cases we need to repeat one and put it we have to repeat it maybe every 15 hourly every half an hourly in water we give that so depending upon case to case according to each case you need to analyze that case and you need to see okay what best would help him so potent and repetition will remain a debatable question life long in homeopathy as long as there is homeopathy this debate will be there what potency to give what i think that comes from individual experience what suits you how you deal so it comes automatically to you so this patient had uh, okay so again see the constitution when we tell that the remedy when we have certain so this patient was on remedy cpr so this and suddenly uh, she had come in acute and we gave her the constitutional remedy but it didn't help the patient and then the patient had this uh, lot of sneezing watery running nose and lot of pain in the bones of nasal bones there was lot of pain and on the examination there was a nasal polyp in the no- nose and the in- important peculiarity was whenever she used to lie down on any side that side of nose used to get blocked and there was difficulty in breathing so you take the symptoms of the patient the sneezing the pain in bones the polyp aggravated by cold so you get the remedy indicated was cucurum and cucurum we know is one of the important remedy for the nasal polyps when you see lot of sneezing lacrimation in nose and uh, this thing is uh, blockage of nose so tucurum is a very good remedy for that as well as the polyp and when you see from just you see just you see is materia medica book by dr sarkar so they are allergic to everything they have a tendency towards polyps and tumors the special action is on nose often there is a nose block so and when you read from fatax materia medica it gives stoppage of nose worse side lay on so on whichever side the patient sleeps that that side he has this uh, stop blockage nose block so tucurum was given to the patient so 30 was given for 7 days here and uh, it she was completely better even the polyp disappeared with that and everything her nose block her sleeping everything was improved with that so here in this case the potency was uh, 30 selected so we, we wanted to repeat it often so we selected a lower potency in that and the last case for today this is a very interesting case again i think i'll uh, just uh, hurry so this case uh, patient had uh, lot the patient had come with lot of uh, she was like it looked like she was in a great trouble she came that doctor 15 din se mujhe khansi ho raha hai itna nothing is helping since 15 days she is having this cough and nothing was helping her all she tried allopathic medicines ayurvedic kadhas ayurvedic medicines and nothing was helping her so i asked her what is the problem so she says that it's a dry cough which is more at night when she is sleeping and this cough is more when she lies down when she is lying down the cough is so that she has to get up and otherwise it won't stop and with that cough it's so severe that it kind of she feels a choking suffocation gutan jaisa hota hai mere ko saans lene nahi hoti hai aisa i feel like that i have to get up and i have to see uh, sit so this was the type of cough the patient had and the observation by family members was there was a kind of whistling sound noise city kind of whistling was there whenever uh, she was sleeping so what we do is when you have so many modalities you have all the modalities that is aggravated at night during sleep it is a suffocative and choking kind of cough and because of that she she kinds of feels very exhausted and there is lot of uh, irritation in larynx lying aggravated by lying down and aggravated uh, she has to sit up so when you take that symptoms you will get a uh, this thing many remedies pulsatilla phosphorus drosera cpr spongia iparsel now what to do which one to give there are so many remedies how to i think almost this 10 15 remedies which are we can see in the repertory sheet almost except one or two symptoms all of the remedies are covering uh, the entire totality so 
creates a lot of more confusion now which, which one to select so i asked her like what more like you have told so many sim and what normally we do is see each one has his own way of doing case and analyze analyzing the case i have normally tendency while i am taking the case i simultaneously i repertorize the case i do kind of get a i get a hint so accordingly i can okay differentiate the remedy so i keep on repertorizing so i rep, i was repertorizing the case and so i asked her suddenly okay you told so many symptoms which aggravates you what what relieves you what what makes it better you have so many modalities you aggravated by lying and so on things what makes it better so she said that whenever there is a cough na itna raat ko at night there is so much of cough then i have to get up and i have to take either tea or coffee hot warm tea or coffee if i don't take it i don't feel better if i take that after drinking i feel better i said our life is easy so when you see in the repertory cough which is better by warm drinks so you have a set of remedies so when you take that so again now you from 15 remedies now your totality came down to four remedies arsenic spongia and oxomica and rest of so we already know that uh, which remedy is better by warm drinks arsenic is also better spongia in general in cough is better naxomica rest of now again what to do then you have to read materia medica you have to final differentiation you have to do from materia medica so i opened started reading materia medica and when i read patak's materia medica in that you see a noisy whistling inspiration on falling to sleep so while she is sleeping there is noisy this whistle kind of noise that kind of thing is there in spongia so without thinking i gave her uh, Angia 200 84 84BD2 for two days. 84BD2 means you have to give two times for two days, morning, morning, evening, like that. Four doses total. So with that, when she came for follow up next week, she said almost on the third was 80% better. And again, I gave her SL, and after two weeks, when I called her, there was no cough, no suffocation, everything was relieved. So such beautiful. in symptoms we get from the patient i think it becomes easy to analyze the case so the main idea is you have to probe 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 try to find the peculiar modality in all the cases acute cases and all so the idea is to just find the peculiar case uh, thing in the case and with the help of that you will uh, definitely get a good result and i think dr alpes we have seen many of his cases where you don't find symptoms in repertory easily he'll show you many cases i think we have seen many cases where from reference work with the help of uh, reference work he has uh, taken search the symptoms from the source book exactly written in the materia medica and that has helped the patient so the idea is you should know the art how to do that if one tool is not helping you if materia medica is how to go to repertory if that is not helping how to search in that so we have to learn everything once you know the different options then are uh, helps at all helps us a lot in the case taking and case analysis process so i think that's all from uh, my side and i hope that i was able to give you little bit information little bit you must have learned and uh, whatever is your feedback or uh, something like that you can write to me on either of the emails homeopathic hub or uh, gmail or whatever you can write to me and uh, you can share your feedback and